Hey guys, welcome back to Illness Script Pencast. Today we're going to talk about hand, foot, and mouth disease in children due to the Coxsackie virus. You may also see this disease referred to as herpangina. Coxsackie virus infection is more common in children, especially under the age of 10, with the most common presentation between ages 3 and 5. But keep in mind, this disease is also seen in adults. The disease is spread mostly through the fecal-oral route, which in this age group is especially seen in daycare settings, so look for that. These patients will initially present with a prodrome of fever, malaise, and a nonspecific upper respiratory infection. They will often complain of a sore throat with decreased PO intake with painful lesions in the mouth. A rash on the hands and feet is also very common. Exam findings will include vesicles or ulcers on the tongue, palate, and buccal mucosa, but most commonly seen in the posterior oropharynx. The hand and foot portion of hand, foot, and mouth disease is a maculopapular rash most significant on the dorsum of the fingers and toes, but can also involve the palms and plantar surface of the feet. Of note, adults who present with this disease may not have skin findings at all. It is very important at this time to differentiate Coxsackie virus infection from the most similar infection on the differential, Kawasaki disease. In Kawasaki disease, patients will have a non-exudative conjunctivitis, which is quite characteristic of Kawasaki's. These patients will also have marked erythema of the lips, pharynx, and tongue, the so-called strawberry tongue of Kawasaki's. In this disease, much like Coxsackie virus infection, there is skin involvement of the hands and feet. What distinguishes Kawasaki disease is that the skin lesions are desquamating, whereas the rash of hand, foot, and mouth disease is usually maculopapular. These patients will also have significant cervical lymphadenopathy. Lastly, the only characteristic lab for Coxsackie is a PCR of the throat swab, which is often positive in these patients. However, most often this test is completely unnecessary as it is often diagnosed clinically. An illness script for hand, foot, and mouth disease then could be a four-year-old boy, currently in daycare, who presents initially with fever, malaise, yesterday, now with sore throat and decreased PO intake, found to have painful vesicles on the tongue, palate, and buccal mucosa, with a maculopapular rash on the palms and soles, with a PCR of the throat swab positive for Coxsackie virus. Remember to like this video and to subscribe. Please leave comments on how to improve the channel as well as ideas for future videos. Until next time.